that 60 to 65 years ago, I woke up to the relationship of man with nature. From that time on, my determination was to build a business someday that would be in absolute harmony with nature. We were pioneering food supplementation in the day when doctors and uh, pharmacists and home, econo home economists were, were just saying, you don't need this. He would say that the reason he even got started in this was because he got tired of treating disease and he wanted to help people understand about prevention and about wellness. We didn't shout and holler, but we determined that we were going to build products that would be in harmony with nature and not pollute air, soil, or water. And more particularly, the most important stream of all, the bloodstream of everyone. I never got the feeling that he was on a mission. He was always, he knew that it was the right thing to do, but I didn't feel like it was a crusade. We felt like it was a crusade. <laughs> All we do is to give you an opportunity, and that's all we can give you, is the opportunity. We have the products. We're very proud of the quality of the products we produce. It's up to you to take advantage of the opportunity. I can't make you, no one can make you a success. You are what you think you are. You have to believe in yourself. And it's not enough to believe in the products, not enough to believe in the business opportunity. You have to believe in yourself. Anybody could build a lifetime of financial security and do it in, in a way that, that was what created dignity. This was not a business where you're just out to make a lot of money, although you could. And he didn't downgrade the fact that you could make a lot of money in it. But that was not the primary purpose. The first thing we want you to remember, the very first thing you must remember, is your service to humanity. Forget the dollars and cents. If you serve humanity, you can't keep the dollars from rolling in. He always told us, think about the other guy and you have more on your plate than you can handle in matters of all kinds of success. And it's pretty phenomenal to know that you carry the legacy of Dr. Shackley and that what you do every day will carry that spirit forward. And we realized that it wasn't just what we could get for ourselves, it was what we could do for other people. And that has been more motivating than anything else. In fact, the most motivating thing that comes from me in this business is seeing somebody reach the first level of a directorship and knowing that this is just that first step. And I think as you get into Shackley, you become more shackley eyes in your home, but you shackley eyes your heart. It goes back to Dr. Shackley's philosophy of a company that cares, and that's what Shackley is, living that golden rule. Now, it may sound corny for any corporation to endeavor to perfect itself to a point where it can lay claim to absolute harmony with the golden rule. No one is perfect, but we are endeavoring to be in absolute harmony with the golden rule, and we hope that our people do the same thing. We were looking for something that had right livelihood to it. Something where you could do and help and earn and build and share and not compromise your principles. It was unusual for me to market products, but it wasn't unusual for me to get behind a philosophy that would make a difference in people's homes and in the world. I have never doubted that what I am doing is the right thing to do, to share good products which vanishes into healthier lives. You say you can't hear the voice of nature, but you can. You say you can't talk to nature, but you can. Let's get close to nature. It wasn't what he did, it's who he was. It wasn't the company he created, it was the philosophy that he promoted that the company supports. And the thing that will still be alive and well 50 years from now 
regardless of how big this company is, regardless of how many thousands of people have had their lives changed, it'll still be the philosophy that drives it. Built into the DNA of this company, our culture, it's inherent in it, we cannot change it, is the fact that we care about the goodness, the, the, the good social benefits of it as much as we care about the money in this company.